So here, remember, in this discussion, we are going to look at the average value of a sine wave or a sine signal. So assume you have a voltage that is represented by the signal Vm sine omega t, whereby omega is the angular frequency of this signal and Vm is the amplitude or the peak value of the voltage. So it is sinusoidal, meaning it is going to be running uh, when it is positive and another time it is going to be negative. So it runs back and forth between the source and the load. That is the AC voltage signal that is sinusoidal. Now let's look at how we can get the average value. So remember, from 0 to T, that is the period of one cycle. And usually, uh, this period is equal to 2 pi. Okay, if we are talking about um, if we are talking about just from here to there, and here we are looking at the angle in terms of uh, maybe radians, then it would be two pi radians, or you can have it as two pi divided by uh, omega to have it in seconds. So it can be out of omega to be in seconds. Or t can be 2 pi in radians. So let's move, having put that one at the back of our mind. Uh, the average value we know is equal to 1 out of b minus a, okay, integrating from a to b of f of x with respect to x. But this being an AC signal, uh, v. <laughs> V changes with the time. So we are saying a V uh, being an AC signal, it changes with the time. And therefore, uh, we shall say that V of T is equal to Vm sine omega T. Meaning, we shall call this one an average value of V. So V average shall equal to 1 out of. So from A to B, we are talking about the period of this function. So the period is T and is starting from 0. So it will be T minus 0 integrating from 0 to T of V of T with respect to T. But what is V of T? So V average will equal to 1 out of T integrating from 0 to T of Vm sine omega T with respect to T. And this is going to be 1 out of T and Vm will come out. So integrating sine omega T from 0 to T with respect to T will give us uh, this uh, integral of a sine omega t becomes negative cos omega t. So negative Vm out of t into cos omega t divided by omega from 0 to t. So we have said that this is the average value and this becomes Vm divided by t uh, which is negative, okay? So we are going to uh, we are going to put in our limits. Okay, first of all, before we put in the limits, we still have cos omega t from zero to t, and everything is out of omega. But we know omega is equal to two pi out of t. So divide by two pi out of t. So this becomes some assorting. And it will come up here and becomes negative Vm t divided by t, okay, into, so this becomes cos omega t out of 2 pi from 0 to t. So first of all, that becomes V average equal to negative Vm 
into cos. Okay, this becomes omega t, then minus cos 0 is 1. Okay, so what is, um, uh, this is going to be, uh, this is going to be the same as negative vm cos of omega times 2 pi out of omega minus 1. And this is the same as negative vm cos of 2 pi minus 1. So the V average will equal to negative Vm into, uh, so cos 2 pi is the same as cos 30 and that is the same as 1. So 1 minus 1, we get 0. And therefore, average value, average value of a sine sinusoidal AC signal is equal to 0 over a complete cycle. That one can be seen from the curve itself, the graph of the curve. So this is one complete unit, which is um, a plus. So the same becomes negative. So if I sum this and that, I will get zero. So the average value of an AC signal over a complete cycle is equal to zero. So that one must stick in our minds. But, however, if we get, if we get the average, average value, this is however, average value of an AC signal over half, half cycle is equal to 0 0.6. 0 0.637 0 0.637 times the peak the peak value so if your peak value vm is equal to 10 volts then the v average will be 10 times 0 0.637 and this gives you 6.37 volts so in the next lecture we are going to see how we can get that value.